Hello all, welcome to Keisha's Gossip and Truths. And in this video, I will be talking about Holly Berry. Now you all know I like to give a brief intro before I go in deep, so here we go. Maria Holly Berry was born on August 14th, 1966 in Cleveland, Ohio. Her name was legally named Holly Maria Berry when she was five years old. They named her after Holly's department store. She also has an older sister. Her mother, Judith Hawkins, was born in Liverpool, England, who is a psychiatric nurse. Her father, Jerome Jesse Berry, is an African-American and is a hospital, well, he was a hospital attendant in the psychiatric ward where her mother worked. After them falling in love, see, you have to understand this. This was back in the 60s, you know, in the midst of civil rights. So he got fired and became a bus driver. With all of the stress from being a segregated couple, they divorced when Barry was four years old. You see, like many unfortunate marriages back then, regardless of race, the husbands were abusive, unfortunately. Barry was reportedly saying this. I haven't heard from him since he left or maybe he's not alive. She went on to be called about her father being very abusive to her mother. Barry also recalled witnessing her mother being beaten daily, kicked down the stairs, and hit in the head with a wine bottle. Wow, that's so sad. Wow. Meanwhile, she graduated from Bedford High School where she was a cheerleader, honor student, editor of the school newspaper, and prom queen. Mm -hmm. She also worked in the children's department of Higby's department store. She then studied at Cuyahoga Community College. She also won many beauty contests such as Miss Teen Americans, Miss Ohio USA. She was also the runner-up of Miss USA in 1986, so yes. She was also later crowned Miss World Entrant in 1986, and that is when she decided to pursue a modeling career in New York. She was so motivated, whereas she used to sleep in homeless shelters and then later at the YMCA. While going back and forth to the homeless shelter, she still pursued her acting career and modeling career, mainly her acting. She got a role in a television series, Living Dolls, which was a spinoff of Who's the Boss, and she had to stop because she lapsed into a coma and was diagnosed with type A diabetes, ended up moving to Los Angeles, and then from there she got a recording role in Knott's Landing. But it was her role as a drug addict and Spike's Lee Jungle Fever that set her up for the future. Especially when she landed the role as a struggling drug addict and losing Isaiah. And then from there she sort of just took off. She started getting a lot of challenging roles. They saw her acting abilities. Not to mention when she became noticed for her singing abilities. I mean, she played in um, Why Do Fools Fall In Love. From there, <laughs> I mean my gosh, she basically co-produced and acted as the uh, reenactment and biopic of introducing Dorothy Dandridge. And she was nominated for an Academy Award for that role, believe it or not. She loved playing that role. She was quoted saying, heck, she even won other several awards, including Primetime Emmy Award and Golden Globe Award. Oh, yeah, she was doing it. When that fire gets lit, I mean, it was no turning back for her. I mean, because she was on fire. Okay, I mean, think about it. One year she was sleeping in a homeless shelter and at the YMCA, and the next she was getting thrown millions and millions and winning awards. It's how fast it happens, it literally happens overnight. Well, the fame didn't stop there. She played a superhero in X Men at Storm of that movie that carried on for many years. I mean, it has so many sequels and stuff to that darn movie. By this time, she was becoming well known for her body and looks, okay, which she already was, but this is like her um, image, so to speak, her brand, and that led her to play in Monsters Ball, mm -hmm. remember that one, where she received the Academy Award, but her limelight was starting to fade, because when she played a Catwoman, whereas she was paid $12.5 million for, for that role, I mean, I don't think it was her acting ability that messed up the role, I think it was the script. But that just, anyway, they paid her $12.5 million, you know, to play Catwoman. And the movie only grossed $17 million, you know, in the box office upon, you know, it being opened. And 
And that was after her winning an Oscar. Her roles were up and down after that. And her limelight was starting to fade. She played in many more um, movies and TV shows thereafter and won many awards. She also participated in many charities, fundraises, and so, and so on and so forth with her many career endeavors. Let's get personal. You all maybe want to sit down for this and pause it because it gets so crazy. I mean, after this, you are going to be so emotionally exhausted because she went through it, honey. I mean, when it came to these relationships, whew, I, I thought I had some crazy relationships. She is this beautiful icon and she, hmm. anyway, you might want to pause it here, okay? <laughs> all right, now. Back in 1989 through 2001, she was dating Chicago dentist John Ronan. Then after they broke up, he tried to sue her for unpaid loans that helped launch her career, he claimed. Mm -hmm. However, Barry contended that the money was a gift, so the judge dismissed the case because Ronan, he didn't list Barry as a debtor when he filed for bankruptcy in 1992. Besides, this was coming during her... um acting career was starting to take off and she was playing more and more roles and she was becoming noticed but get this it was also during this time where she went on record saying that her former abusive boyfriend <laughs> during the film of the last boy scout in 1992 now you remember what i said that they were dating between 1989 and 2001 mm -hmm. so think about that put a pin to that remember that post it whatever this is what she went on record saying she said that um, during the filming of The Last Boy Scout, which was filmed in 1991, her boyfriend punctured her eardrum and caused her to lose 80% of her hearing in her left ear. She didn't say any names, just like um, Tyra Banks didn't say any names about John Singleton, who used to beat and abuse her as well. They just say the incidents, but they never say the person's name, but we are not stupid. But we can honestly say this is around a time when she was dating John Ryan. Okay, she was talking about him. Anyway, and then she started dating baseball player David Justice in 1992. And they got married at midnight in 1993. It was very beautiful. Right at midnight. It was just perfect. Because of her career that was on the rise, they got separated in 1996 and was divorced finally in 1997. And Barry was quoted saying this, that she was so depressed that she considered actually taking her life i mean she was really depressed after this. this is like her first marriage you know what i mean and it lasted oh wow anyway and then after a few years later and two years of dating she met a married singer eric benet we all know about this marriage and january what's up with these january marriages i just thought about that because she married eric benet on january 24th 2001 and then she married David Justice at midnight, January 1st, 1993. Maybe it's just a coincidence. Anyway, and things were looking up. I mean, he was a celebrity just like her. So he understood. I mean, finally an equal, she thought. But again, history repeated itself again. And he cheated while, again, her career was going well. And then he claimed to have some bullcrap sex addiction and actually underwent treatment in 2002. Mm-hmm. They separated in 2003 and they finally divorced in 2005. I even heard that they were planning to have kids actually. And she vowed after this point to never marry again. And she didn't for a long time. And then um, in 2005, she started dating French Canadian model Gabriel Aubrey, who is so fine, I have to admit, whom she met at a Versace photo shoot. They dated for some years and Barry gave birth to their daughter in March of 2008. Then, and on um, April 30th, 2010, Barry and Aubrey announced that their relationship had ended some months earlier. Like many relationships when there's children involved, it was a crazy custody battle. He wanted um, their daughter to remain in France with him, and she wanted her to be in L.A. with her, you know, whom she was, at this point, was sharing with actor Oliver Martinez, whom she started seeing in 2010 after meeting on the set of Dark Tide in South Africa. 
Of course, Arby denied it, saying that it would interfere with her joint custody. And upon going to court, the judge actually denied it. Then, two weeks later, Aubrey and Martinez got into a fight at Barry's house. So then Martinez performed a citizen arrest on Aubrey. Then Aubrey, in turn, obtained a temporary restraining order against Martinez on November 26, 2012. Asserting that the fight began when Martinez threatened to kill Aubrey if he did not allow the couple to move to France. Mm, there's no proof that he even said this, but this is what Aubrey was saying. I mean, it was pretty bad, y'all. And it wasn't all about their daughter. I mean, you have to understand, he was still in love with Barry and he wanted to marry her. But Barry didn't see him as a marrying type. I mean, he was a lot younger than she was. He was 36 years old at this time and she was... 46? No offense, that's a lot in female years. Just saying, thanks to this fight and the pictures that coincidentally got leaked of Aubrey all face are bruised up. Mm -hmm. Which I am definitely a photo editor as well, graphic designer, and some of those bruises were seriously edited. I'm just saying. But guess what? Because of all of this, <clears throat> hence him th being 36, hence why she didn't marry him, he ended up getting sixteen thousand dollars a month for child support and she had to pay his attorney fees as well and then some mm -hmm. yep but you would think things was things were starting to look up for um Haley but things kind of started looking up for Haley I mean meanwhile Barry and Martinez got married earlier that year in 2012 and they had a son then after two years of marriage they divorced <laughs> and it was finalized in 2016 since then, she has been a victim of a home invasion. I talked about this. I'll leave the link below. Um, anyway, in the midst of all of this, Barry and Gabrielle is working out their shared custody agreement, so to speak. She's still paying the money. Barry is still single and rumored that she may end up staying that way for a while and just focus on her kids and their career and working out a lot. I mean, hey, a great way to get rid of sexual tension. I mean, a girl looks good. Oh, and Aubrey has been linked to um, to Charlize Theron, and he has got back in shape. I mean, he was suffering from depression for a while after the whole Barry thing. He kind of like went through the whole can't eat, can't sleep, you know, that kind of depression crap. You have to understand, Aubrey was so bitter. I mean, it was even leaked that he called her racial names, I and mean, he was really, really, really hurt about this breakup. I mean, very hurt. I guess men and women, I guess, they have different ways of dealing with that kind of thing. Anyway. Well, that's it. Tell me your thoughts below. And I'm so happy Haley Berry is finally at her peace right now. I hope she don't rush into another relationship. I mean, the poor woman been through it. And I'm just giving you guys a fraction of what I've read. But she's been through it. I mean, she's a, she's a beautiful woman, but she's been through it. Literally. I mean, through it. I mean, there is some record that she got sexual assaulted as a child. <laughs> and among other things, it was really, really, really sad. Anyway, um, but... I'm going to end it here. I'm not going to get into all that because then they'll probably start flagging this video. Still looking at Haley Berry. She's a very good actress. She motivates me a lot. Love her. Big, 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 huge fan. <laughs> so tell me your thoughts below and any stories you may have. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you get notifications from when I do post a video. And also don't forget to subscribe to my other platforms as well, such as The Truth Show, The Truth Show Deluxe. And support my Patreon account for really, really deep videos. See you all there. And all the links are below, people. Love you all. Bye.